Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan Channel. Here's a headline from the Crypto Basic. David Schwartz says, quote, Ripple was created to distribute XRP as broadly as possible, end quote. And this whole conversation actually stems from a conversation that occurred back in 2021, uh, during which uh, a former XRP community member, who's one of the most well-known XRP communities uh, around back, back before uh, leaving, uh, this individual asserted that the reason that XRP was created was purely to sell it to retail so that Ripple could sell it to retail. And this is not precise. And I'm going to break down exactly why. And I've got this comment uh, from David Schwartz, which I'm going to provide in full context. So you can see what's happening here. But it is interesting to see that there, there are some people that is, if, if, if for whatever reason they have, they just don't like Ripple and or XRP. The things that come out of their mouth, it's it's so narrative driven. It just it, it makes you wonder some of these people, do they actually believe what they're saying or do they just want what they're saying to be true? But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say. All right. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right. So into this piece we go. Schwartz corrects a misconception about Ripple's primary objective. David Schwartz, CTO at Ripple, has taken to Twitter to debunk a misconception regarding the Silicon Valley-based blockchain company. A Twitter user known as Scams Are Bad quoted an old tweet saying, XRP was created to sell to retail. And by the way, I blocked Scams Are Bad on, uh, on, on Twitter. I'm all about, uh, you know, diversity of thought and this and that, but I I used to debate this individual and it became very clear that this, this person was not interested in operating in facts and was not interested in getting to the truth, I was not being intellectually honest. And at that point I lost interest. And then there was also uh, the proof revealed that uh, this individual had also assumed somebody else's identity. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back for him. Like, okay, I already didn't trust this guy. I like debates, but this guy, I do not believe he's intellectually honest. So we're not going to get anywhere. And he's assuming somebody's identity. That's what was asserted. So I was like, I want nothing to do with this fool, but here he is and being covered by crypto media. So I'm mentioning it. <sighs> Isn't that funny? The name is scams are bad. And like, he is the scam. Anyway, peace continues in response to the comment. A blockchain enthusiast named Azrael asserted that Ripple was created to sell XRP to retail. The user added that Ripple's co-founder, Jed McCaleb, left the company because of how XRP was sold to retail investors. And so here's the tweet um, from Tiffany Hayden here. Actually, I'll just pull up the old thread real quick here. So this is going back to November 13th, 2021. Uh, Tiffany Hayden tweeted out, XRP was created to sell, uh, to sell to retail, full stop. So I'll just pause to note there that, um, th she and she never, that I've seen, has provided any evidence of that, and nothing against her personally. Um, but uh, Tiffany Hayden, in asserting that XRP was created to sell to retail, well, I can tell you this, um, if you go back to what the creators of XRP have said, including David Schwartz, one of the creators, uh, he stated that at the time, they were just trying to make a better Bitcoin. That was it. And uh, they thought that loosely, maybe it could have some, somehow be used, you know, just in payments in general. But that's about as far as the thought process ever went. And so it wasn't clear uh, what XRP ever uh, would necessarily ultimately be used for because it's a decentralized cryptocurrency. People can use it for whatever they want. Now, if you're talking about a Ripple's business plan and a key part of it, uh, to be to distri you know, distribute or sell XRP, that's never been a secret. And so I think that the way it's being framed is to make it uh, you know, some sort of original sin on the part of Ripple. I just don't think that's ever made sense. They've always been fully transparent about that. I've known that since I jumped into crypto in 2017. And while some people, and fair enough, some people, uh, they find that uh, to be a major turnoff and it results in them not being interested in purchasing XRP. Uh, for me, I just thought, ah, I really don't care because XRP itself is decentralized. And so even though in, in terms of Ripple, yeah, ridiculously large holdings, got it. Um, they've been a good cheerleader to that point in time and to this point in time in terms of, you know, propping up to the best of their ability and supporting being the biggest cheerleader for the XRP ecosystem. And so the reason I had never been afraid, even though I admit this 
still could go terribly bad. They could just start massively dumping all, all their holdings nonstop each month when it comes out of escrow and just be like, yeah, we're just going to actually sell it. Now, I don't think they'll do that for a number of reasons because that would not be in their financial interest. Uh, also, in the short term, there would be uh, implications from a legal perspective, especially with the ongoing SEC litigation. So there are other things to consider there. But again, this has never been a secret. So, you know, to state, uh, as Tiffany Hayden wrote here in a separate tweet, um, referencing Jed McCaleb, one of the creators of XRP, the guy that came up with the idea for XRP, Tiffany Hayden said, Jed said exactly that in a deposition. Ripple's entire business plan was to sell XRP. Okay, so that was part of Ripple's plan to sell XRP. That part is true. But the idea of XRP being created to sell to retail, that part is not true. You'd have to provide evidence to persuade me that that is true. Uh, I've, I've never seen, in fact, so far as I know, and if I'm wrong on this, somebody just, just provide a source in the comment section below. My understanding is Ripple has never once, not even one single time, sold XRP to anyone that's in retail. So they can sell to, you know, entities on an institutional level, and then there can be secondary transactions that result in retail having it, which is why, I mean, we do have XRP as, as retail holders, sure, but let's be precise here. Uh, th that's not how it went down. Now, if I am mistaken on that, somebody let me know. And I will note, um, uh, some of you may have already seen this, but if you were in the Twitter spaces that I co-hosted with uh, Attorney John Deaton a few days ago, um, I said just that. I said, uh, you know, Ripple's never sold to, um, to, to retail ever. And as far as I know, that is true. But then two people said that they thought that I, I might be mistaken on that, and to, to which my response was, okay, if that's the case, then just provide that data so I can stop being wrong about it, because if I'm wrong, I want to stop being wrong about it. That's just how I look at stuff. Like. So um, I just, I, I, I Googled, I couldn't find it, but if any of you can find any evidence that Ripple directly sold, okay, fine. Even if so, I can tell you, I've never seen a single transaction uh, be cited in my five plus years in crypto. So if there was something that happened in the earliest of days and I'm actually just unaware of it, fine. Then I actually would like to know that. So I, I, I acknowledge it could be wrong. But what I'm outside of that, though, my, still my belief at this particular moment in time is that they've never done that. They have given away XRP in the past. They did that, which is different than selling it. Because the whole plan was to get XRP out into the hands of as many people as possible. That's, that's pretty much it. So anyway, that, that old tweet from uh, Tiffany Hayden saying uh, XRP was created to sell to retail. Well, again, never ended up in sold directly to retail. And XRP, they didn't even know what they were going to do with it. They created it. So Ripple hadn't even, there was no company. So it wasn't clear that it would ever be used for anything, to be honest with you. So to state that it was, uh, you know, created, uh, you know, f with the intent of it being sold to retail specifically for a company, like, those ideas didn't even exist. Uh, so anyway, Scams or Bam retweeted that and wrote the same thing. XRP was created to sell the retail full stop. Then somebody else named Azrael wrote, in my opinion, Ripple was created to sell XRP to retail. I am not sure if you and Tiffany are saying this in combat of the phrase XRP was never for retail, but there was an obvious disagreement regarding XRP being sold to retail the way it was, so Jed left. Yeah, so the reason that Jed left, and I don't know all the particulars because not all of that's been made public ever, but my understanding is that he was not happy with how the company was being run. He wanted a completely different approach. That's why he left, uh, not having anything specifically to do with XRP being sold or not sold, just to be clear on that. And uh, then as far as this idea of XRP never being for real retail, it's, it's a stupid idea. Have you guys heard this? Because there there are people, and they just it's, it's just a stupid idea, honestly. There, I have seen it cited many times over the years. Yeah, XRP, it wasn't even meant for us. It was meant for the institutions, but we actually have it. And they're going to try and get it from us. You know, it's the conspiracy nonsense crap. Uh, but anyway, uh, the idea of XRP being exclusively for retail or exclusively for institutions is stupid. And it's, it, here's an obvious way to understand that it's clearly not just for institutions. I mean, uh, again, it was cited as, you know, being created as a better version of Bitcoin, which isn't for institutions. And, and also on top of that, the reason that XRP is an open market price is because retail speculators like you and I, we buy and sell XRP, right? That, that's what people do. That results in an open market price based on supply and demand. That's the reason it exists. So of course there's going to be retail participants here. All right, let's go a little bit further though. Peace continues. Commenting on the development, Schwartz quickly corrected the misconception to prevent it from spreading like wildfire. He clarified that Ripple was created to distribute XRP as broadly as possible and to generate enough revenue from the coin sales to sustain its operations. And by the way, one more thing, because I want to make sure I do this in order. There was a, um, 
a, a deposition of Jed McHale back in 2016. I don't think I'd ever seen this damn thing before, but it had something to do with Mountain Gox because he was, he, I'm, I'm sure many of you know this, but some may not. Uh, Jed McHale was actually the, uh, the creator of Mount Gox, and then he ended up selling it before it ended up ultimately going under after that hack, which I'm sure all of you are pretty well aware about this time. But anyway, so he was under deposition in 2016, and he stated a number of things shared by Tiffany Hayden. And I'm not going to read it all. It's on your screen. If you want to see the relevant portion, it's right here. But um, you know, Jed McHale did note that Ripple's plan was always to sell XRP. But again, this, this was never some sort of secret. So I'm not, I'm just, to me, it's a big nothing. But, um, but anyway, that being said, David Schwartz did ultimately chime in on this. And David Schwartz wrote the following. At least in my view, Ripple was created to distribute XRP as broadly as possible and, with luck and if necessary, be able to generate enough revenue from sales, or things like sales, of XRP to sustain its operations. So my friends, isn't all of this exactly in line with everything that we've always known. And so it's just, it's just kind of disturbing to see how somebody as intellectually dishonest as the scams or bad Twitter account, you know, trying to frame things in such a way that it just clearly isn't true, which is why I wanted to take the way to kind of take this down. But we've always known that Ripple's been trying to distribute XRP. They literally gave it away for free back in like, it might've been 2013, maybe it was 2014. But in the earliest of days, they literally gave it away for free. Now, the reason they didn't give away more is because it became problematic. Once XRP was being traded on cryptocurrency exchanges, all you're doing is just, if you just give out enough, you're just going to result in the price just plummeting. So because they did it in that order, it quickly became a problem. But it's also true that, you know, Ripple, you know, they're not exactly in charge. And even in the earliest of days, it's not that they could tell somebody not to list XRP on an exchange. It's, it's a decentralized cryptocurrency. If there's an exchange that wanted to do that, they get their hands on it. They can just do it anyway. So it just, it became a problem. It, it, and so you can look back and be critical and, and, you know, some critiques I think could be fair in that regards because the fact that Ripple has as much XRP as they have, is, you know, some people have a problem with that. Okay, fine. Should they have that much? These are all reasonable things to discuss. Uh, but I, I will just tell you, and I don't know what the current plan is, but years ago, they articulated a plan showing a chart where uh, they planned on uh, selling XRP over a span of literally decades so as to not cause a plummet in the price of XRP. So I, I don't know. And then there's always the possibility, even Brad Garlinghouse has acknowledged this as a possibility. I don't know if it's going to happen, but there's this idea of, you know, burning XRP. It's it's because there's so much of it. Like, does, does, does that much need to exist? I don't know. I don't know if there's an optimal amount. And then also, how can you even, how can you even, and you can't really answer that question because you don't know what the adoption of XRP is going to be in the future. So what's optimal? Eh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it matters. I just, I just, to, to me, it's never been anything even close to a deal breaker. Like I've been aware of all this for over half a decade. I just don't give a damn. And for the people that, you know, bothers them, fine. I respect that, actually. If you think that's a concern, that's not a crazy concern, actually. That's a reasonable concern that you have. Doesn't bother me, but it bothers you, then fine. Don't hold XRP. Whatever. I don't care here. But we've always known that Ripple's <laughs> going to be selling XRP from the beginning and distributing it in, in various ways, and they have. So what, what the hell is the problem here? <laughs> there isn't a problem. That's, that's, that's what I'm getting at here. There definitely is not a problem at all. <sighs> I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan.